Hello. Kingdom saying great and spiritual secrets. On this life to grand. Saturday. Learning to press forward into your joy because the enemy and I'm going to, I'm going to get to that today. I have got to give you an in-depth knowledge of this enemy. We have a God has an enemy, Satan, which is because we're, and I profess that my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he is the head and the love of my life. Satan is my enemy. But before, I'm going to get into that. But I came on specific, specifically today to address those whom, whom have been deceived and whom those whom have been forced to live in the systematic system of enslavement, false doctrine that has plagued our society. God has broken generational curse off this world. The devil is a lie. And I stand until I take my last breath to not let you plant back in that spot where he has uprooted a curse with deception. Miss Bynum, hey. God told me whenever he began to give me spiritual enlightenment and exposing spiritual corruption, he said, everything that is hidden, it shall be, re uh, be revealed. And he said, "You, because I, I got to where I was, I was not calling names out. I was using, I was hiding. But he gave to me, there was still birthing deception into his truth. And my father said, I am the truth, the way, and the light. My father is not a man that should lie, nor is he the son of man that should have to repent. And what he said, what he sent his word out to do, it shall do, but it has been halted because of the deception. It's delayed, but not denied. It's going to come forth. But in the name of Jesus, it's the spirit of dementia, confusion that is working together to try to hinder this word. But God says, no. He said, you tell the truth and shame the devil. He said, call the names out. He said, now you let them know. That's why he gave me that scroll, Kingdom Send Greetings, many years ago. He gave me that 2012, 2013. And I began to birth some things out. And he halted it. Because of the corruption that I set up under. But he says you call their names out. And you tell them I said to tell you to call their names out. Because they're still hiding lies. In the name of Jesus. Miss Bynum, I'm sorry that you went through it. But the Bible says in Corinthians. No man. He said God created. In the beginning, God created man in his image. And Corinthians, he teach about how no man here on earth are a light. Hey, I listen to your sermon sometimes, and but God has halted me because he's trying to kill that Pharaoh magician um, image that the corrupt religious leaders have um, um, false doctrine birthed into the natural. Because what they're doing is they call themselves walking walking in the word. But to hide in the world, can you walk in the word? And then you don't have faith and you don't even believe in the God that you say that you serve. But the only reason why you're using this word like that is for a form of witchcraft, manipulation, Jezebel. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you don't have no dominion here on earth because it is some true soldiers that is beginning to raise up that is beginning to rise up before god destroys sodom and gomorrah he said if you can just just find me one or two and i truly believe in this season and in this time god is stirring up a spirit of truth that is going to begin to stand in behind the true faith of god's word and his in his kingdom is being shattered God told me, he let me know early. He said, the enemy is at flight. He's fighting, but he's, 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 he's fight. It's, it's fight, but he's flight. He's going to flee. Because he know, God says, Holly, he know he can't touch you. So that's the reason why he's touching everything around you. He's touching everybody around you. Because um, of 
of the false doctrine that these corrupt religious leaders have been burping into the earth realm. It has crippled the body of Christ and got everybody walking around here like some little punks. I ain't no, like they said in the movie, I ain't no punk B. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. And you ain't for the punk nothing that is around me. So it is time for the children of God to stand up Speak the truth and shame the devil. Hey, if Holly don't do, hey, 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 Holly can't be no Nicki Minaj. Hey, don't birth that mess over my life, Miss Bottom. Hey, he said whenever she began to let go of the systematic system of enslavement because of the materialistic things, and if you just let it all go and walk in his name, he said, I give it back to you. He said, I will, I'm going to use her mightily. If we begin to walk in repentance. I don't want your anointing. But I will take the things that you have uh, endured. And I line it up with God. And I walk in it. Because the Bible says in Matthew. He says, do not do what you see the hypocrites do. Because they bind up. They bind their closing up heaven. Because they know themselves ain't even going to go. And they don't, they're not going to allow you to go either. In the name of Jesus, my sister. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. I don't care how much they threaten you with with poverty. I don't like I said, I don't care if I have to go outside and I have to sleep out on the side of the road. I will not allow y'all to help force me to go against what my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said I could have. Because if he provided for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field, he said, now he sent me a little bit lower than the angels. Hey, I, I know I'm taken care of. I'm, he said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. And he has always had a ram in the bush for me. If y'all don't stop that corrupt religious leader, Nick Minaj had no business coming in covenant with this spiritual stuff that you don't know nothing about. And now you want to try to set your spiritual mess off on somebody else? The devil is a lie. You made that bed, you're going to lay in it. Because Satan said that you are going to be a worker of his until you begin to learn to walk in repentance. Your generation into the third generation is going to work for Satan. And that's what he has been doing. He has been recruiting people to work for Satan. And I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to regroup. I'm going to pray and I'm going to get this spirit off of me because it's a, it's a foul spirit. Um, Jezebel, Gazelle, hey, I didn't come down there to take your husband. Your husband's already been gone. You don't have now. God said, you know, you're not, you're not a beautiful person in this place, in, inside his kingdom. Because of your mess, you better find you somebody to play with. I ain't coming up in y'all's house to take your men. I ain't coming up in your house to take your title, your, your, your religious title. That they can't not break or destroy not one yoke or uh, break not one bunch or pull down not one stronghold. He says, how do you go to new birth? He said, because the man of God, and that's what he called him, the man of God, Jamal Bryant, has been praying and asking what and how could he help. He said, now you go, because that's what, that was my church off and on before Bishop Ed Sloan went on to the, to the glory to the other side. He said, how do you go? Because I hadn't been in over six years. He said, you go and sit up under this man until I make your enemies your footstool. So y'all find you somebody else to play with. Because you're not, hey. When God ready for you to move out the way, he's going to move you out the way. Because you ain't, you, you ain't doing no good in the body of Christ anyway. You're just holding up a position. And if you don't do the work of God, he'll move you out. The, you can move it willingly or you can move involuntarily. Because I feel I feel the heart. I feel the pain in your heart. So somebody, it's, it's some people finna get ready to fall over. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're going to move over. Yes, ma'am. You're going to move over. Don't let that man lead y'all to walk in the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm, heaven and hell both, is raging. So find you somebody else to play with. Get back on the porch because I didn't come down to go to no new birth, to go around in no circle, no merry-go-round with nobody. Because when God is ready and he ready to touch that man of God's heart inside that place, I truly believe without a shout down my mind that he will do what thus says the Lord. You don't even want your husband. You just holding up the occupied space so that you can have a security spot. Leave this man alone. Leave this man of God alone because you're sitting your spiritual weight going out there in the world and bringing back in that mess and you ain't ministering to this man. Hey, one man. One man. 
you walking through a valley of a shadow of death and you'll be you one minute you'll be here and the next minute you'll be gone but he got he gonna use you for a purpose i don't got no business in that man's marriage and i don't want to be in that man's marriage but you brought his marriage to my front door Running around in the spiritual realm with these um, bitter, baddie matrons, wanna be mafia girls. Thank you taking over the industry. You cannot take over what God. God is just allowing, sitting back, watching and seeing who is doing what and who gonna be foolish enough to think that you're gonna get away with it. And you actually done joined you, you linked up with it. God told me. He said, "I've been sent seven heaven. What is a seven heaven? I said, I know you showed me five realms. You showed me five realms, five dimensions." He said, yeah, the fifth is the fifth, fifth, the fifth realm is the throne room of heaven. He says, now behind that, the two, which make it the seventh heaven, I got space. Two, two realms of space stored up a spiritual blessing. So you think y'all don't think y'all thought y'all broke up into the throne of God and robbed God? No, that was a mirage. That's why it's, it's evaporating. You can't hold not none of no, not, not none of that money that you're holding. You can't hold it. And Satan, them, that phone, Satan said, bring his phone back because y'all ain't answering your phone call. It's time for you to pay your debt. And some people that know owe some souls. There's some people that owe some financial wealth. And he said he want it all back in the name of Jesus. And with that being said, y'all have a life's too grand day. I still got my joy. Oh, Nika Mariah shall not rise to the top. The, the Bible says, he who humble himself shall be exalted. He who exalt himself shall be humble. Go on up there to your Titanic and watch the, the, the second round of the Twin Towers fall.